So now you're at part two. So in the sound <laughs> editing, um, I don't know when the last time two movies won for the same award. So this is, I think, the first time in a long time in Oscar history that two movies won for, or were tied. I don't know when the last time that happened. I'm going to have to look at that. I'm happy that Anne Hathaway won. I think that's the right choice. I would have picked that for her performance. I think it was one of the best things in that version of Les Miserables. Adele's performance of Skyfall, she killed it and uh, just proved that she was going to win. That was so predictable that she was going to win because all the other songs, even, I mean, The Life of Pi was good, but uh, all the other songs, I don't, I, I, I just, I never, I, I, they were okay. Um, I don't really, I don't, yeah, I don't remember them. It was this Adele's version, um, Adele's original song, Skyfall. Incredible. And I'm so happy that she won, and I really liked her speech. She was just, you know, she's just being herself. I don't know what was up with Kristen Stewart when, um, I think they were giving the away the award for production design, and I'm happy that Lincoln won for production design, but Kristen Stewart looked like she didn't really want to be there. Like, she never really wants to, I, I, every performance, she doesn't really want to be there, it seems that way. I, I, I don't know. I mean, Will the sets of Lincoln be up there? Can we? I would love to go to some studio and be able to visit some of these sets uh, that were created for Lincoln because it would be a dream. It would be such a dream. So congratulations to Lincoln. Now, when they were showing the Governor's Ball Awards, all I could think of, and I wrote this down, when are they going to make an official Oscar nomination for best stunts in a film and honor the men and women women for doing awesome, some of the most amazing stunts in history. And I think the, the stunt people get shunned every year. The Oscars don't acknowledge them. It just upsets me and makes me mad. And I think after watching this governor's ball thing, and they did honor one of the greatest stuntmen in history, I feel like they should start honoring the stuntmen. Who's with me on this? I mean, anybody out there that's doing what I'm doing, movie reviewing, and you've got a lot more audience than I am, Find out a way where you can tell the, just get out your words, I mean, maybe in a podcast or in a review, to finally get the stuntman the justice they deserve for just, they need an award. There needs to be an award for best stuntman. On to the best score. Um, I would have liked to see Lincoln one. I'm a huge John Williams fan, like most people who just love film. I think that is one of his greatest scores in a long, long time, and he hasn't won since Schindler's List. So I would have liked to seen John Williams win, and in that category we got to be we had to, it was presented by the cast of Chicago because I think ten years ago that movie won, but I can't remember. I just remember movies like The Pianist. That was a really great movie. That probably should have won. Okay, uh, but what was up with Renee, Renee Zellweger? She just looked like she was on something. And uh, when was the last time Renee Zellweger was in a movie? I like Renee. I mean, she was great in some of the films that she was in in the past, but I don't know. Maybe she's maybe, she, maybe she's coming back. Who knows? But, here, but okay, so, you know, Life of Pi won for Best Score. And congratulations to that. I think Michael Dana is a great composer and I really like one of his scores from Little Miss Sunshine but I just realized as I checked this online during the show and Ang Lee has had three of his movies win for best score Crouching Tiger Hidden Dragon Brokeback Mountain and now Life of Pi pretty dang cool in the best adapted screenplay I would have picked Lincoln because that was an amazing screenplay an amazing just I love the dialogue in that movie, especially from Lincoln, whether how true it is or not. I thought Tony Kirshner did an amazing job and deserved to win for Lincoln. That's what I would have voted for. I'm happy for Argo. I think that's another great screenplay as well. But Lincoln, I think, will be remembered more than Argo in the screenplay department. Um, you know, and now for original screenplay, it, if it didn't go to Quentin Tarantino, uh, that would have been a crime against humanity because I think that was one of his best screenplays ever. You know, I, I think Inglourious Bastards deserved it as well a few years ago. I also would have loved to have seen a more and Moonrise Kingdom win, but I just love me some Tarantino. Tarantino is the man, and he gave a really great, cool speech. I like that peace out at the end. That was awesome. Uh, best director, um, I think Ben would have won. I think he deserved to be nominated at least. And it's a crime, and it's going to go in history of being a crime against all the things that are holy. Though I wouldn't have voted for him, but I would have been happy if he would have won. I am happy that Ang Lee won again. This is the second time he's won since Brokeback Mountain in 2005. He's a fabulous director, and I love most of his movies, and I love his super superhero movie Hulk. 
I don't. I would like to be curious if anybody else out there loves Hulk as much as I do. I love Hulk, and I think it's one of my favorite superhero movies ever, and a really great film by Ang Lee. But that's another story for another time. But I would have voted for Steven Spielberg. I think he made the best. One of the. Well, I shouldn't say the best because I didn't put that as my best. But I think he made one of the best films and directed it so well, made it feel so unique and real, and I absolutely loved it. And I would have loved to see Steven Spielberg win. He hasn't won since 1998. For Saving Pride Ryan, that would have been great. Now, when they announced for Best Actress, I couldn't be more happy for Jennifer Lawrence, though I thought she was much better in The Hunger Games. I'm just glad she's acknowledged. She is a wonderful role model for young Hollywood to be. She's a fabulous actor and just helps me forget all the crap that young Hollywood is putting out there. I'm not going to start naming names, but I'm happy she won. Even when she fell, I just even loved her more because she got right back up. She didn't need any help, and I, I really want to think that that happened, that that was a real moment. And her speech was great and uh, so touching and just so real. I think she gave a really real speech. I would have liked to have seen the lady former Moore win or Naomi Watts, but I couldn't be more happy for Jennifer Lawrence. All the people that were nominated were pretty good. Now, when it comes to the best actor, when Meryl Streep actually gave out the award, I would have liked more suspense. And I was happy to see Daniel Day-Lewis win. Did I say that right? Yeah, Daniel Day-Lewis win. He gave a wonderful speech, in my opinion, the best speech of the night. It would be great for him to host the Oscars. I've seen a lot of people comment and say, let's have him host the Oscars. I think that would be great. Now, here comes the biggest mistake of the night. And I'm not talking about Argo winning. I'm happy that Argo won because it just uh, says, okay, sorry, we didn't nominate Ben Affleck. Here's Argo. You know, it, it, and I think it deserves it. It is one of the best films of the year. I would have liked to have seen Lincoln or Life of Pi win, um, but uh, especially Lincoln, I think that's one of Spielberg's best films, but I think the biggest mistake of that was the way it was presented. Now, I don't want to try and get political because I am a complete idiot when it comes to politics, but let's just say if Mitt Romney won the election and his wife was up there to give out and present the award, I would be utterly upset, just like I'm upset and disturbed by the way they presented it this year. I don't know if I'm alone on this. If I am, so be it. But uh, to have the First Lady, I don't know, she might be a wonderful person, but uh, she's not a movie star. She is not an actress. Uh, she is not affiliated with Hollywood in that sense. Maybe the political side of Hollywood is affiliated with her, but as an act, she's not, you know, I would have liked to have seen an incoherent Jack Nicholson talk for at least 10 minutes, making no sense whatsoever, because I love him, and it's so great to see him at the Oscars, but to have the First Lady, a very awesome woman, in a lot of people's eyes, present was just a huge mistake. But I'm happy about Argo, so let's happy about that moment. And I'm done, I'm getting to the 20 minute mark, so this is gonna be a two-part video. So I couldn't be happy, I'm happy, I love the speech from Ben Affleck and his producers. I'm happy the guy from True Lies won an Oscar. Uh, you gotta go check that, check out the guy. His first name's guy is Grant, he was in True Lies, and he's good friends with George Clooney. George Clooney won, I didn't know that. I forgot that he produced the movie. Uh, of course, I would have liked to have seen Django Unchained win Best Picture as well. That's another movie. So, surprisingly, uh, Seth did an amazing job. I thought so, and saved the Oscars this year. I think Seth saved the Oscar, the whole Oscar uh, thing, the Oscar, the whole Oscar, Oscar uh, show. Damn, I can't even talk. Because there's a lot of times that were just so mediocre and so many missed opportunities, especially with the musical. They were saying, this is the year of the musical. No, it was the year of like uh, the last couple musicals. That's what they should have said and been more truthful. But overall, I enjoyed the Oscars this year. It has been much better than uh, a couple years ago. We want to try and remember what happened there. But uh, I, would, I would like to see Seth McFarlane, and we'll see who hosts the Oscars next, next year. Uh, maybe uh, Amy Poehler and Tina Fey, so we'll have to see. So thank you so much for being watching this and uh, being patient with me. I hope you found some entertainment value about this and enjoyed this on an entertainment level. And thank you so much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe to both these videos. And uh, please go to welivefilm.com and go to whoyoutube.com and uh, check out all the great people that uh, just love film and live film every day. And, and thank you again for watching, and I wish you a wonderful year in 2013 and some what is I, I think uh, March is coming and we're gonna we're gonna have some great movies start coming I hope I really hope I think it looks like some maybe the best pictures of the year best films of the year are coming in March let's just hope so thank you again for watching and uh, I'll talk to you later see you later bye